So the goal is to do spectral monitoring, take spectra from DC up to 60 gigahertz as fast as possible, find places that exceed the threshold and record them for some amount of time. Uh, right now I'm recording them for about two seconds. And I have my X310, which I'll turn on and you'll hear it fire up. And let's show how the code works. UHD libraries recommend setting some parameters here for the network speed and buffers. I've done all that. And now I'll just evaluate some importing some libraries. I use Bokeh for plotting. I'm gonna set up my plots. And right now I have a blank plot that'll get filled in later. I have a couple functions here, find the most interesting things to record. Right now, I kind of explicitly uh, pull out certain ranges. So I basically zero out all the cell phone and TV noise uh, and don't bother recording that. And then I have a function that says what to work on next. So a channel is normally taking spectra. There are four channels here. And when it's done taking its little chunk of spectra, it'll call this function and it'll see if something exceeds a uh, threshold. And if it does, it'll go into recording mode, record for two seconds and go back. Um, this empowered receive thread, this can uh, set up some buffers, but then it can either be taking spectrum or it can record. And here's where I uh, instantiate the USRP. I print out some information. I have some shared dictionary that stores all the information. And then I'll set up all the channels and loop and plot every time. So let me do that. See it initialize the USRP. And it'll print out. So there are 120 center frequencies that go from zero up to 60 gigahertz. And I'm choosing to sample at 50 mega samples per second. The analog bandwidth on the 310 is 80. And so this is a, a safe a safe thing to do. You could bump it up to 100, but you'd have to uh, compensate for the, the droop at the ends of the bands. Even here, we'll see there's a little bit of droop. All right, so what am I doing? How am I taking spectra? Well, I'm taking about uh, 10,000 samples, and that lasts about uh, tenth of a millisecond and I jump from center frequency to center frequency and I have to wait for it to settle and that's the thing that takes the most time. I wait two milliseconds for it to settle and I have all four channels taking spectra at the same time and here's the result of that spectra. There's all kinds of random noise and stuff that it's picking up. Uh, sometimes especially down here around zero frequency we see a lot of signals and let's see what happens if I start transmitting various things. So the first thing I'll do is I'll hit this button. This is about 315 megahertz. So we should be looking around there somewhere. And when it exceeds minus 100 dB, it makes a little red dot. So I'll, I'll hit this button. There we go. Red dot. I recorded a file. There's the recorded file. Um, it gives a date timestamp and UTC and the center frequency and some other information. This little drone transmitter should be around 2.4 gigahertz. So look for a red dot that happens around here. I'm gonna turn this on, it's gonna try to talk to the drone. Turn it off. Um, here's a little uh, video camera on a little remote control car. If I turn this on, see the video shows up over there and I should get some signals around 5.8 gigahertz for the video. I'll turn that off. Finally, a walkie talkie. Uh, this is really loud, so I'm gonna hold it away. This is at about 460 megahertz, so somewhere in there. See a red dot? Testing, testing. Huge red dot. We'll record that. It takes a few seconds for the file to show up here just because uh, this doesn't refresh very often, but there we go. Center frequency 462. Uh, finally, I have a little 915 megahertz drone telemetry radio, which I'll plug in. This does some frequency hopping. Let me plug this in and I'll start looking for its partner. There we go. Unplug. Show up here soon. Yep, there we go. 923 is where I caught it. Um, let me stop this. And show you the results of some of these things. So let me list the signals we've recorded. 
Uh, let me pull up the little button. That has a nice on-off keyed signal. That sometimes shows up as something interesting. Uh, what is wrong here? Oh, no, it worked. So here are the real and the imaginary parts of this on-off keyed signal. You can see it sort of turning on and off and on. Now uh, this is sampled uh, at 50 megasamples per second, which is way wider than what's required here. Uh, so you could zoom way in. And you can see it sort of did catch pretty close to the center frequency. Um, I'm recording again. Let's see that we can uh, capture up to three different signals. I've got four channels here. I always reserve one for taking spectra. So I'm going to hit the button and turn this on and transmit and turn this off. And we'll see what we get here. So we got the button and the drone and the walkie-talkie. Um, all, all recording pretty quickly. Okay, looking at the drone transmitter, we see we get also some bursts. Let's check out some of these in InSpectrum. So I can do InSpectrum rate and give it the 50 megahertz sampling rate. And let's pass this file. This was the drone radio transmitter. And you can see it's sort of doing some frequency hopping as it's trying to find its drone. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Let's look at the one of the buttons here. Oops. Little four button remote. Yep, you can see it doing its little on off keyed thing. There it transmits it again. And there you go. Let me show you what the load is here. Uh, I'm taking live spectra, occasionally catching things. Uh, let me pull up HTOP here. And when it's recording, it's uh, quite CPU intensive. Actually, this is the screen recorder that's taking up most of the processor. Uh, this is not exactly the best demo. Uh, let's look at the network bandwidth. So the network bandwidth coming in is currently a little less than 100 megabits per second. If we start to take a recording though, let me hit the button or turn this thing on. As soon as we start recording, that jumps up quite a bit. And you can see we've maxed, maxed out here at 4 gigabits per second at some point.